Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. Sitting down here by the river on a beautiful summer morning. I'm gonna take the boat out in a little bit with the boys. And guys, I figured I'd do another video for you. You know, I've done several videos recently on different retrieve styles for various baits to help generate a few extra bites. And I've gotten a lot of requests to do these videos recently. And one of the requests was to talk about a Texas rig. You know, a Texas rig is probably one of the most uh, basic techniques because it's the most wise, widely used technique. At this point, if it's a plastic bait, most people will be Texas rigging it. Doesn't mean it's the only way to do it, but a Texas rig is one of the most popular ways to rig a plastic bait. But having said that, it's, it's a technique that we don't really hear many people talk about when it comes to the retrieve. And I know that varies a little bit based on the plastic that you're using. If you're using a swim bait on a Texas rig, you're fishing it more as a swim bait. If you're using a cross style bait, you're using it more as probably a bottom bait or a flipping bait. So the, the retrieves are gonna be different based on the plastic that you choose. But I do wanna talk about the different retrieves that I use on a Texas rig when throwing some sort of craw bait or a creature bait, something that I'm using uh, like where you would throw a jig, whether it's a, a tree, rocks, weeds, that type of stuff, not necessarily in place of a moving bait. Because of the fact that most people will just rig a Texas rig and take it out and fish it in a similar manner as a jig, I do think a lot of people are missing those bites by not varying up their retrieves. So I've got several different retrieves that I want to show you. I'm going to take you down to the water and kind of walk you through the different retrieves. It's similar to jigs, but a little bit different at the same time. So that's what we're going to get to. Let's go down to the water and I'll show you a few retrieves. Okay guys, we have our Berkeley Pit Boss rigged up and ready to go here. It's Texas rig. At the moment, for the demonstration purposes, I actually do not have my weight pegged. And I'm gonna tell you why that is during one of the retrieves. But let's talk about this a little bit. Most people are using a Texas rig. If they're firing it out there, they're doing it because they think there's some sort of bottom structure that they're gonna get stuck on, which is why they're fishing this instead of say an open, exposed hook type bait. You wanna make sure that this comes through the cover and keeps you from getting stuck. So that's the great thing about a Texas rig. The problem is most people will fish it like the way they fish a jig. They throw it out, let it hit the bottom, and then they just slowly drag it back to the boat. Slowly drag it, make sure it has bottom contact. Again, you will get a bite here and there doing that. I'm not gonna say you won't, but you're missing out on a lot of bites. So the first thing I'm gonna say is if this is the situation you find yourself in where you're throwing it out there and you wanna just drag it through maybe a stump or something along those lines, maybe there's some rock like we have here, instead of dragging it, I'm gonna say you wanna impart little pops. So just give a little pop with your rod tip. Not a stroke, not anything crazy, just a, a quick snap with your wrist that'll get that bait to shoot up a foot off the bottom. And what that does is that creates the reaction moment. And I can't stress that enough. I know I talk about it in most of my videos, but it's that reaction that generates the strikes. You know, somebody made a comment in one of the videos. I said that ba they, they said bass are like cats. It's so true. If I just slowly drag something by a cat, a lot of times they'll look at it or they might put a paw out and just say, you know, oh yeah, I'll get it. But if you put something in front of a cat that tries to get away from the cat, they go nuts and they're gonna get it. Bass are very similar to that. So if you throw it out, let it hit the bottom and impart those small pops, that pop is like something trying to get away from the cat. So it's just a simple wrist pop. Nothing crazy, you're getting your bait to bounce a foot off the bottom and that's it. But instead of just dragging it, you're literally generating tons and tons of potential for reaction strikes. So that's one of the biggest things I wanna point out. Another way I love to fish a Texas rig is to use an, a weight that is not pegged to it. And the reason for that is because it allows your bait to become uh, very versatile in that you can throw it out and almost use it as a free rig. It's very similar to a free rig. So you can get a very slow fall or a Carolina rig. So I'll let it hit the bottom 
and then I'll just do a quick stroke like that and I'll do it parallel to the water level and what happens when I do that little pop stroke you know I'm bringing it three four feet forward at a time what happens is that weight will separate and then the bait slowly falls to the bottom so it gives you a really good finesse opportunity after the weight separates. It's one of my favorite ways to fish a Texas rig, and I can't stress enough how often I think people are making a mistake by not throwing an unpegged weight enough on a Texas rig. So you throw it out, do a quick sweep like that, quick sweep, and your bait's slowly falling down to the bottom. That's all you gotta do. But it's a totally different <coughs> presentation than if it's pegged to your bait and you're just giving quick pops. <clears throat> All right, so that's another way I love to fish it. So the third way I love to fish it is as a search bait. So if I've got here a big flat of grass, I'll actually use it much more like a swim bait or a swim jig or a chatter bait where I let it hit the grass and I'm basically keeping it moving, but I'm popping it through the grass, trying to keep it afloat on top. It's something I love to do to generate some of those extra strikes but it allows you to use a Texas rig as a search bait and not just a slow dragging bait. Once you find those fish, at that point then you can slow down and drag it, but you keep the rod tip up and you're basically swimming it, feathering it through those grass stalks. It's a great way to generate some additional strikes and it allows you to be extremely versatile anytime that you're fishing a Texas rig because we all know we don't want to carry 35 bags of plastics and all the different stuff especially if you're fishing from shore you want to be able to carry baits that are versatile and a Texas rig is a versatile bait but it's not just a slow dragging bait so next time you find yourself on a flat and you've got a Texas rig you can start working it much more like a swim jig slowly popping it and feathering it through the grass or the rocks that type of thing so i hope this was helpful guys these are the three main ways that i fish a texas rig you know it is an extremely versatile bait like i said any plastic you can use on a texas rig but don't think it's only meant to be dragged you can do a lot of different things with it to generate those additional bites so thanks for watching leave a comment with any other ways you like to do it Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and stay tuned for another video tomorrow.